Happy Thursday, Tigers. I'm your awesome anchor, Janae, here to bring you guys the news on Slow High Clubs. We're halfway through the week, guys, and only 16 days away from summer, so get hyped. I'm your second anchor, Omar, with news on girls' soccer, the senior picnic, and your lunch with the U.S. history. Those were some pretty solid introductions, Danette and Omar, but I know they were waiting for the amazing sports anchor, me, Allison. Now here are the news and announcements that you, you need to know. <clears throat> this school year is almost over, and I'm sure there is a lot you'd never want to forget. One thing that can help you remember all of these special moments is the 2024 yearbook. If you want some insight on how to get your yearbook, check out the story by our teen and reporter, Leela Milton. Summer is on the horizon, but we've had so many good memories this year. Don't you just wish you could live in them forever? Well, I don't happen to have a time traveling machine, but I do have a yearbook. Every year, yearbook has produced a book full of memories for safekeeping. This year is no exception. These students have been hard at work formatting pages, getting photos, finding names, and checking everything over again and again for perfection. And now it's ready to go out into the hands of students that will cherish them forever. What does this yearbook feature anyways? Senior Wrap 2024, which is an original idea that VD Patel, our second trimester editor, came up with. And you know, I love the fact that it has actual links to like Spotify songs that we feel represent. Uh, our generation of graduates. The senior like portrait page because everyone looks really good and all their quotes are pretty funny. My favorite page is the senior superlatives because the pictures are goofy. So, uh, is the boys soccer page because it really he shows a lot of action in those pictures and looks a lot like the team from my perspective. Wow, there's a section for everyone. So how do I get a yearbook? To get your yearbook, all you have to do is go into jostens.com and right there, everything should be, the website should help you. Pretty simple, you could just look up like slow, slow high school, you know, there's a search bar to search everything you need. And yeah, you can also keep track of your order on there. When and where will I be getting my yearbook? Get ready for yearbook distribution day on Thursday, May 30th during lunch. Students who have purchased a yearbook will receive a ticket during their third period class on Tuesday, May 28th. Distribution will be located behind the 100 building by the roundabout. Students should walk around the side of 100 building to pick up your yearbook. Please do not walk through the 100 building by the commons. Don't worry if you lose your ticket, you can still pick up your book. We will have a record of who bought a yearbook or not. However, you may pick up a friend's yearbook only if you have their ticket. Yearbooks must be purchased prior to distribution. Yearbooks will not be sold on the day of distribution. If you would like to purchase a yearbook, you can still do so on justins.com. Supplies are limited. Please contact Mr. Mamorella if you have any questions. And that, Tigers, is what you need to know about the yearbook. Don't miss out. Keep these memories alive. Although summer is only a few weeks away, look out for the amazing club Slow High has to offer, especially Mr. Naren is welcoming all returning and new members to join the Slow High Mountain Bike Club every Tuesday at lunch in room 203. If you're interested in more club about fitness and activity, I'd also like to highlight the Batman Club. They, met, they meet up at the big gym every Friday at lunch. Come check them out to play some awesome games. Those mountain bike club and badminton clubs sound pretty cool for anyone looking into fitness. Even more, ASB has set up an inframural spike ball tournament. More info on this video. Hey Tigers, spike ball starts next week, so make sure to get those signups in the next couple days. It's going to be teams of two, and it's going to be our last inframural of the year. So make sure to sign up. Sign up! Sign up! <laughs> If you want to take sports into info, the next if you want to take sports into the next level, there will be a girls soccer meeting today, this May twenty third during lunch. This meeting will be in Miss Birdzell's room nine hundred one in the math building. A attend this meeting if you want to meet with the coaches and hear about the plans for summer and next year. Dang, I can't believe there's still so much fun stuff to do before school ends. 
for people for people more interested in strategic board games, Chess Club meets in room 901 in the math building. This coming Friday, we have the chess tournament with Call Poly Chess Club. So be sure to come to the meeting and sign up. You can also sign up by using the link on Google Classroom or on Instagram. Happy Chess Day, Tigers! I know, right? Bet the seniors are especially hyped for summer, but remember seniors, this is your last week to date your permission slips in order to attend the pit tent on June 5th. You must ride the bus to attend the events at Cuesta Park. Please check your email to see if you received an email from Ms. Sainsbury Senior Class Advisor letting you know that you have not turned in your permission slip. Turn your slips into her room 205 or Mr. Stewart's room 508 or the office. They were due the 22nd of May, but Ms. Sinsbury is willing to accept late slips this week. Now, it looks like the seniors have a lot of responsibility this week. That's right, Jeanette. Seniors like me should know that senior honor cords may be picked up in the Trier Center today. The 2024 honor cords color, colors include Principal Scholar Award is Black and Gold, Honor Scholars is Telly Green, Academic Scholars is Solid Purple, CTE Pathway Completion is Solid White, English Learners RFEP is Solid Silver Gray, State Testing CAASPP is Solid Light Baby Blue, AP Scholar is Solid Cardinal Red, Seal of Bioliteracy is Solid Peach, CA Scholarship Federation Award is Solid Gold, AVID is Royal Blue, which will be presented at the AVID Senior Night, no more than three cords may be worn at graduation. Now enough screen time for us. Let's bring it to the long awaiting Tiger Sports with Allison. What's good Tigers? Welcome back to another Tiger Sports to highlight our D1 athletes. First things first, let's congratulate our awesome senior athletes for a great four years of dominating varsity and putting slow highs on the map. Shout out to triple sport threat Severin Lunsford, player of the year Bobby Tagge, and Gwendolyn Cadix. Also on Thursday, May 16, 2024, the San Luis Obispo varsity boys volleyball team lost their mass match against Jesu High School by a score of 0-3. to three. Nice try, guys. On another note, senior varsity golfer Jackson Stitt is competing at a regional CIF tournament in SoCal. We will update you on the scores and soon, soon, but for now, cheer this amazing Tiger on. School's finishing up and so are the sports seasons have been all wrapping up, guys. With that being said, that will conclude today's sports. Now, back to Omar and Jeanette with a weighted lunch in U.S. history. For lunch today, we'll be having <clears throat> pork fasole with taco works chips, Bean and cheese nachos, the local beef taco salad, and turkey and cheese sub with chips. Sounds like a delicious menu, and also remember to thank the cafeteria staff, Tigers. And on this day in U.S. history, on May 23, 1934, American bank robbers Bonnie and Clyde are ambushed by police and killed in Bienville Parish, Louisiana. Things get even interesting, because it was discovered that Bonnie died wearing a wedding ring. Except, it wasn't her hubby, webby Clyde's. Oh, girl. I, I didn't know Bonnie was messy like that. That's all for today, Tigers. We'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.